so um, I was just thinking about um, bridges and I'm on a bridge right now and um, that again I, I just came out of an Al-Anon meeting and although there are great points of inspiration that I can gather from being with some of my peeps, you know, people that can relate to alcoholism and addiction, etc. I think the part that um, a lot of people miss when they go into the like generic titles um, is that they they miss that they're just saying higher power and they're not saying Jesus, they're not saying the God of Israel, and I think because of that. I think that's where a lot of people are still lost because they're just talking in a generic term of God, higher power, and they're not really understanding who God is. They're not understanding his commandments and statutes and blessings that are found within following them. And therefore, they're still in a struggle because they're not understanding that they're not abiding and they're not in alignment with who God is and who God wants us to be in terms of understanding who Jesus is at the cross and that, you know, Jesus is the bridge. Like, Jesus is the bridge. I'm standing on a bridge, you know, and, and Jesus is the bridge that makes it possible for me, for me and everyone else to get to the Father, to have a relationship with God our Father of Israel is because of the bridge and the bridge is Jesus and until people really get that understanding I think that there is um, you know just a, a lack of understanding um, instead of being able to process it in a way that will really truly be beneficial in the sense of people really being able to reorder their lives under the order of God's law, of God our Father, of the Ten Commandments, of all his statutes, of, of everything that God has put in place by keeping his divine appointments of all the feasts, by keeping Shabbat on Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. All of these things are important to God. And um, he, you know, the God of Israel, and through his son, the Son of Man, Jesus, you know, that's really where the bridge is at the cross and, um, and and that Jesus is the atonement for all the sins so that we can have a direct connection again with the Father. So um, I hope that this, um, that you receive this, that you can take this into your heart and that you can really let that settle in and sink in and, and transform your hearts and your minds to really believe on Jesus as the atonement for all sin, all the way back to the Garden of Eden. And that because of that, you know, sacrifice, that Jesus' selfless, perfect life provides the bridge so that we can be united um, with God, our Father, the God of Israel, who is the real and only true God. Have a good day, everybody. Make sure you get on the right bridge.